Welcome to the lands of lore, the throne of chaos. It's a game that's very dear and very close to my heart because it's I played this when I was I think 13 or 14 years old. It's probably the first RPG that I've ever laid my eyes on when it comes to video games. I know, I was a late bloomer. But uh, I absolutely loved this one. I've been putting it off because uh, there is a brilliant Let's Play of Lands of Lord of Throne of Chaos already online. It was made from this point in time about four or five years ago by a fellow named Kikoskia. He's a fine Let's Player with a uh, velvetly soft voice. And I will link to that particular playthrough in this one because it's so good I can't ignore it. And you probably should watch his before watching mine. But if you decide to go on uh, the journey with me, it's very much appreciated. I wanted to play this game for quite a while anyway. I figured I might as well make a let's play out of it. Now this is just an introduction video because um, there's a choice to be made at the end of this video and I will give you guys a couple of weeks to make it so I will have a couple of weeks to get my affairs in order and once my holiday kicks in I'll play through this game. Here's the lovely introduction and very old graphics. Virgin Interactive Entertainment presents the Westwood Studios production of Lands of Lore, The Throne of Chaos. My liege, it is as we feared. Scotia has uncovered the temple and will have the nether mask soon. We must be ready for her. She will come here first. But Richard, what worry have we here at Gladstone? Surely we can arrange a defense against any charades. The mask is not a toy. The time has come, and I have no choice. I must destroy her now. I want it now! Your unholiness! <laughs> you will not make me wait again! Ah, it's a pretty little package! At last! Richard and his puny forces have met their match! Richard, you will pay for your lack of vision. <laughs> and that's it. I think this game came out early 90s, 92, 93, something like that. And the atmosphere in it is brilliant. The graphics are, of course, not that great, but it really looks good, I think. And the music, the music in this game is so good. Um, I will start a new game, 
I will also make a video with the lore of the lands in it and post it up at a later date. But for now, I uh, want to start a new game. Get to the decision point and let you guys decide. Here we go. I have need of a champion. Who among you will volunteer to serve me in this matter? This is the voice of Patrick Stewart, better known as Captain Picard among most nerds. And he's uh, the king in this particular game. He has a, a quite important role and you will hear his voice a bunch of times. It's quite nice. Um, we can play well, this game. Have you decided? Hey, don't be so damn impatient. Uh, you can play this with four people. Actually, you can play it only with one, but you have a choice of four. You can play it with Axel, Michael, Kieran or Conrad. Um, you can decide, I will let you guys just give your votes and eventually well, I'll count them. have you decided? Shush! Uh, but I am excluding Michael here. Let's not have any fooling around here. Strong is strong. Trust your instincts on this one. I'm the best fighter of the bunch. A natural. Yeah, he's a great fighter, but the problem is, during the game, uh, you don't have a lot of control over who your companions will be. Eventually you'll form a party, like in any good RPG. And you'll eventually end up with two great fighters, so there's really no point in having a third. So, he's not an option. This guy, however, is an option. Do my looks frighten you? Magic runs strong amongst my people. I may not seem as strong as the others, but I'm more adept with the magic of the lands. Yeah, he's not kidding. He's gonna be a fantastic wizard, or at least a magician, um, when he gets some levels going in, in magic. Uh, a big drawback from this fella here is that magic needs to recharge. You do that while sleeping, and, well, you have to sleep quite a long time eventually to restore this guy's magic. Still though, um, there is a lot of cool spells in the game, a lot of cool magic, and if you want to use it, he's the best option for it. Now if you play the other parts, Lands of Lord 2, Lands of Lord 3, uh, you'll find out that the Kanan hero is this fella over here. He's a Hewline, I think it's the correct term. He's like a cat people, cat person, and he's pretty damn quick. Well, have you decided? No, not yet. Not yet. Might take a couple of weeks, actually. Uh, he's pretty damn quick. He's also the one that Kikoski played with, and he's the Kanan hero. So if you play other games, he's the one that actually finished this story. Strength. Magics. <laughs> what good is it all if you can't dodge blows? I'm fast. Quick. Go with these lodestones if you plan to plot along. But if you want to win this quest, better pick me. He's actually pretty cool, and I've played with him uh, back in the day, when I played this for the first time. And I know a lot of tricks in leveling this guy up. Eventually he can be a decent magician, he will be an excellent rogue, so he will be the guy carrying the bow and, and doing uh, some distance uh, damage. Uh, he's a fun option! I'm the most well-rounded champion for your cause. Face it, with all the dangers in the land, you need someone with my adaptability. Yeah, he's well-rounded. He's a decent fighter, he's a decent magician, but he's not as good in magic as Akshel. And, well, like I said, we don't really need the fighter. If you like him for his face and his voice, though, I'm all for it. These are options. Akshel, Kieran, and Conrad. I will leave it up to you, and when we once we pick this Let's Play uh, up in a couple of weeks, I am quite curious to see who comes out on top. See you then, guys. Bye-bye.